time posting the videos of my chart reading practices and this one is definitely outstanding. Uh, the owner of this chart was attacked by the group of football hooligans which end up in hospital visit and years of trauma after this incident. This has happened when the person was 22 years old in the Dasha and the Dasha is period which is working at specific time. For example, you may be in the time when the Venus is working or the Mars is working and so on. So at that time when this attack happened, the planet working were Rahu Mars Moonbeam Shotri and the Utpanavim Shotri, it was Venus, Moon and Rahu. One of this reason to show you this chart example is to instill the faith and show, to put it in simple words, that astrology works. I found it valuable to share this experience with you. The idea of existence of metaphysical things in the world, which seems dystopic and chaotic, according to me, is very positive and therapeutic. Then we will analyze the Dasha Chidra, the affliction to the Mercury, which is the curse. We will see the connection of the Ninth Lord, which is showing the lack of protection to the sixth house of enmity. And that all will be related to the Mars, Rahu and Sagittarius yogas, which is showing the accident. If you are brand new here, my name is Rafal Gendas and this channel is all about Vedic astrology in the tradition of Shira Chudananda with the analytical example and research based approach. We have here the Cancer Lagna, Moon is in 11th in Mrigashira and Sun is in the 5th house. This is the second best position for the Sun, which is making the person very clever, creative and brilliant. We were taught that this position even may show that person is hiding this brilliance to being able to socialize with others. Uh, for such sudden misfortune, there has to be also the extreme yogas present in the chart. Uh, let's see the house of protection and fortune, which is the ninth house and also the house of enmity, which is the sixth house. And in this chart, we see that the ninth lord of protection is in the 12th house of loss. So we see that the protection is lacking. And this is aspected by the Mercury curse. We will talk about the curse uh, in a few minutes. So we see that the planets are involved in kind of tango or the sambanda, the relationship, bringing this negative and threatening opportunity to this misfortunate event. So if you don't have protection, you don't want to have enemies gathering around in your chart. The Mercury, which is showing the structure of the body, is in the sixth house of enemies and he is surrounded or in the Papakartari Yoga between the Rahu and Mars. This is in the sign of Sagittarius. So the Rahu, Mars and Sagittarius, they are showing the accident or similar rash negative events. So the whole video about the accidents you can find here. We can also appreciate the fact how the yogas or the relationship between the planets are much more important than the single positions. So we have the combination of lack of protection and the enemy exploiting the situation and attacking the native, leaving the traumatic experience. The remedy for this would be naturally the Matura Shapa remedy, the remedy for the curse of uncle. The curse is in the chart when one planet is attacked by at least two malefics. The malefics are Sun, Mars, Ketu, Saturn and Rahu. So attacking being being in conjunction, aspected or being surrounded by this malefics in two and 12 houses. This is the Papakartari Yoga. What is important, the Mercury is also between the malefics in the Navamsha in the 12th from the Karaka, which is showing the bondage, which can show this hospitals or jails. Analyzing the yoga further, we see that the seventh Lord is in the sixth house, which shows that the enmity is basically coming from outsiders, from people we are meeting on the way. So this can leave a trauma when it comes to relationship with people. Interestingly, I was also attacked in the young age by others and in my chart I have 6 Lord in the 7th house in the Mars and Ketu Yoga. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. With no extra effort, you are helping me to make this video more visible on this YouTube platform. Uh, share this also with your friends. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified about some more videos in the future. So you are not missing any interesting videos about Vedic Astrology. And now let's go back to this uh, astrobiography. This is also in 8 from the Atmakaraka, which is the planet with the highest degree in the chart. It is showing our spirit. And for Moon, the 8th house from the Atmakaraka is something which is afflicted from the soul perspective, because this is the Marana Karakastana uh, position. If you want to learn more about Marana Karakastana, please see this video. It was in the Mars Dasha and in the 12th house in the Navamcham, which is responsible for health, serious health concerns, we have Scorpio there, the Scorpio is loaded by Mars. So the Dasha or the planet activated at the time was the Mars, which is ruling the Scorpio and therefore also ruling the 12th house of serious health challenges. You can learn more about Navamsha here in this video. Now the Chitra Dasha is just transition from one Dasha to the other, especially on the level of Mahadasha. So the big Dasha are changing. So this is big karmic shift. It shows it's like the other narration is now being plugged into your karmic input. Like Venus has 20 years. Imagine that the 20 years of Venus has over and now it's come the sun with the seven years. 
So the time of that shift is dangerous as and vulnerable for the owner of the char. Remedy for that is the avatar of the Dasha concerned. So it was in the Rahu Mars Moon Vimshotri Dasha and Venus Moon Rahu Utpana. And this was the Chidra Dasha or the shifting Dasha because it was the last Antar Dasha of the Mahadasha and even the Pratyantar Dasha, the sub-sub period, was also the last in the group of the sub period. So it was like six, five, four Dasha, right? We have Rahu, Mars, Moon. Six, five, four Dasha. So this is the edge of the Dasha and being on the edge of the Dasha is a very vulnerable time, which normally one have to be supported by the mantra or other type of remedies. Now let's see the other facets of the chart. As we said, the Dasha is the planets working in your life at the specific point in time. If you know which planet is working, you need to find it in the chart and you will know under which type of influences you are in the particular point of time. This is a bit simplified, but this is the essential feature and value of Vedic or any type of astrology. Vimshotri is the Dasha which is counted from Moon Nakshatra and Utpana Vimshotri is the type of Vimshotri we use when the Moon is in the 3rd or 11th house. So the Vimshotri Dasha will show what is happening to the outside world, what is the event, and the Utpana Dasha or any type of variation Dasha which shows what is our response. So having these two type of time influences may be confusing, but this complexity can work for us if we know which Vimshoti or which Dasha is representing what part of our life. If you have not seen the Sanjayji video yet about this topic, I highly recommend it so you can just find it here. Using the Utpana Dasha, she was attacked in a Venus Moon Dasha. And based on that Sanjayji lecture, we see that we can also see the houses. So this was the third Dasha and the third house will be then activated. The Lord of the third house is that Mercury, which was exactly involved in that curse in the sixth house of enmity, surrounded by that Rahu and Mars of this accident. So this first Dasha was the cursed Dasha when one will get the biggest negative or suffering event. Now, because the moon was the Antar Dasha and it is the Atma Karaka, this will be the very important event for the soul. And because this is in the Badaka, which is representing the foreign travel, the person will go abroad because of that event. So on this chart, we exactly see that this moon will be showing the response to that event shown by the moon Vimshotri. So I hope this chart has shown you how dangerous the Chidra Dasha can be, what is the relationship between the ninth house and the cursed sixth house, which is showing the attack from others, which is similar to accident event, how we can use both the Moon Beam Shotri and the Variation Beam Shotri, and therefore also able to respond what is uh, going on in external world and how we are dealing with those issues or these experiences in our subjective inside world. So if you like this video, please give the thumbs up, share this with your astrological friends or community, Please write me down in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any observations related to this chart or your chart. Subscribe and see you in the next one.